Okay, this is working with thirds. So question nine and ten. And nine before ten, because nine's a bit easier. But it still offers a bit of a challenge. So the key here is we're trying to break down square roots or thirds. So we're trying to break down the square root of 18 and the square root of 72. Now the key here is you've got to break down 18 into factors. Okay, now 18's got many different factors, many pairs of factors. 18 times 1, 6 times 3, 9 times 2. But the key is if you can go straight to thinking about, well, one of the factors, I want it to be a square number. So this would be 9 times 2. Okay? And so for 72, the same thing, 72 times 1. You've got 36 times 2. Oh, 36 is a square number. Um, that could be cool. And then you've got, what, 18 times 4. 4 is a square number. And you've got 9 times 8. Oh, wow, you've got lots of different possibilities. Um, so quite a few square numbers. Choose the biggest square number. So that's 36 times 2. Now what we'll do now is we'll distribute the square root over the product, root 9 times root 2, plus root 36 times root 2. And because you chose a square number, the square root of the square number is just the number. So the square, the square root of 9 will give a nice number, 3. 3 root 2. Uh, root 36 will be 6. And then some people still struggle with this final bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an extra here. So let x represent root 2. So can you see now you've got 3x plus 6x, which would be 9x. Okay, so that would mean we would have 9 root 2. So you might not need that last step because look, here you've got 3 root 2s plus 6 more root 2s. So that is... 9 root 2s. Okay, so that's the key is just breaking it down and making sure you've got some, you know, the highest square number possible. Okay, the second one's a little bit trickier. So you can see the keyword rationalize. Now at the moment, rationalize the denominator. So the denominator at the moment is 3 plus root 2. Now 3 plus root 2 doesn't have ratio numbers in, it has thirds in, it has irrational numbers. So we've basically got to make sure that we try and get rid of the root 2 somehow. And, and there's many ways of, of trying it, but I think you guys have got the experience. In fact, just about all of you managed to understand that to get rid of the root 2, I times by 3 minus root 2. But to keep things balanced, I've got to times the top by 3 minus root 2. Okay. Now, I think the key for this question is put a bracket, a bracket, a bracket, a bracket. Okay. And now let me just take this guy here. Just move it down here so I've got a bit of space. Okay. Now, the denominator was done pretty well. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 3 root 2. Plus 3 root 2. Minus root 2 times root 2, which is 2. Okay. I'll just finish off the denominator. You can see that minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 cancels out. 9 minus 2 is 7. Okay, now the top. Now, unfortunately, some of you made a mistake. This 14 root 2 isn't 14 plus root 2. It's not 14 minus root 2. It's just a single number. So for this numerator, you do want to do 14 root 2 times 3. 14 root 2 times by root 2. So I'm going to write it out 14 times by root 2 times by 3, and then a negative, 14 root 2 times root 2, okay? So can you see here these are numbers, 14 times root 2 times 3, that's 42 times root 3, and over here this is 14, root 2 root 2 is 2, so this is 42 root 3 minus 28 divided by 7, and then factorise. On the top, you can factorise a 7. 6 root 3 minus 4. On the bottom is a 7. And now you can cancel common factors. So it's a little bit naughty towards the end. 6 root 3 minus 4. Quite tasty finish.